Hey, this is Kevin Wonderland. Hey, what I, I cut a video a while back about selecting mayo plants and how I use predicative uh, tech to determine the chemotype of some of these in early veg. And so I just was doing sift on some sky cuddlers from Gene and some land race affy to uh, the original release star dog that I made about five or six years ago. And I had a, 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 some nice results, and I just wanted to take a look, so this way you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So if we go to the, the, the top line that we start over here, it's the very top one, it says ATT2. That's one of Gene Sky Cuddlers. If you take a look at it, you can see that it's a 46 on the THC, and that really translates to a 4.6. But you look at the ones next to it, and it's 2s, 2s, 17, 12, 18, twice the THC level. The one below it almost triple, 15. So we know that it's cannabinoid rich in that direction. As we move forward and we go through this whole list of cannabinoids, you can see where we have uh, a variety of numbers. The 2.8 on the CVG is interesting because CVG always tells me that it's unconverted THC. We come in here and we even have a little, a little bit of uh, THCV and a little bit of CDV. So then you come over to total cannabinoids and you can see that it's disproportionately higher than the ones around it. So it's numerically an outlier. And the part that makes it a really good drug cultivar, I mean, uh, ferocious in its potency, is this disproportionate ratio on the CBD to THC. And you can see that it's uh, 129, and some of these others, 18, 12.8, 16, almost five, six times um, less uh, CBD present in that cultivar than the others. And what that tells you is that we should be able to pass on these higher THC traits. And if we come down to these bottoms, these are all, and I have a couple sheets like this, but I'm just showing you this one. Then these are all um, uh, uh, tests that I did. The, the, the code numbers are phylo sex testing. And then I just sent out the same code to Prior Analytics and Sonoma for predicative. And we can see that these also, you know, 41, 41, 54. And you can see how the ones above them are 27, 20, 15, 14, 21, 18, 15, 19. Disproportionately lower. And as we move through this, this list, we can get over and we can start to see the totals. And we can see that that lower one down there is huge, 77.4. But the ratios are a little different because the land race always throws in a little bit more of the CBD balance. So if we come back over here and we go to the CBD category, which is right there, you'll see that with the Sky Cuddler, it's at a 0.36. But the land race one's 2.52, 2.03, 4.0. So 54 on the THC, 4 on the CBD. So it brings our ratio down here to a, a, a lower effective ratio, but the quality of the cultivar is, is, is beautiful, and I'm trying to keep some of those land race traits in it. But it's that Sky Cuddler mail I got from Gene, which is this top line, that uh, I got through, when I got some seeds from Gene, I went through and pulled this one out. And we're gonna use this in a breeding project, but you can see some of these numbers. And it just lets you get an idea of, really, how do you determine what you're looking for? And, and then all these plants that we've, we've tagged this way, now I'll go through this population and I'll pick out the one that has the resistance, the one that has the right structural traits, the one that has the right resin production, and I'll test them out. And the problem is that if I use these lower number ones in this line, what will happen is it'll, it'll, it'll proportionately increase the chances of me having lower potency varieties. And that really doesn't mean anything to me as a user because I've been using cannabis for so long that I understand that numbers are just numbers. But to the market... And there's some of these new rating systems where if the cannabis isn't over 20, 21, 22, it doesn't get the, the, the full rating, it dramatically changes the value of your product. And so when I, when I did that last video on predicative testing and how I do mail selection, this is a lab, a lab report that came in on some of these plants, and I just figured I'd show you what it looks like. And you can just see across this axis, sample name, and across the top, THC, Delta, Delta 9, Delta 8, you got CBN, CBC, CBG. CBL, THCV, and then it just gives us a total, then it gives us a ratio in both directions. And I look for these disproportionate ratios, and I look for these much higher numbers, and on some of the land race work, I look for total cannabinoids as, as, as more than I look for ratio, because what I want is I want that distributed form so I can kind of keep the, a, a more balanced type effect. But I can't wait to use this Sky Cuddler because that ratio is extremely disproportionate, and this number is great because these plants were only about seven to 10 inches when I cut the top off. So with, you know, with just a very early veg has beautiful numbers. And you can see comparative to the rest of the stuff in this field, it's huge until we get down into my land race work. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you real quick so you can get an idea of what we're looking at. Let me get this so it's not so damn blurry. 
and you know, hopefully this gives you an idea of how to use some of these tools to help yourself. And like I said, the numbers only matter to the market, and that's pretty important if you're in business. But if you're not, you can just use this to get an idea of what direction you're trying to sift. So I hope you have a great day, and take it easy.